I just got in the door um, into my hotel here in Berlin and I thought, uh, since I just arrived, I thought I'd do a quick room tour before it looks like a big mess. So this is the entrance. There's actually, these are kind of like apartments. It's not like a typical hotel room. There's, so there's like a fully functional kitchen here, which is neat. I mean, I guess if you were planning to stay for a longer time, you could cook. And then over here, this is toilet. You come in the room and it's kind of like all modern. It's kind of hard to describe, like the lights are all modern and stuff. And then the bed with an awesome gift on it, which I'll show you in a second. And then this I just showed you, or this is where I was just standing. This is the bathroom. It's kind of neat because it's kind of like in the room. I've never seen that before. So the sink, it's all like, I don't know, it just looks really different than hotel rooms I've been at. And then I think this is the shower back here. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Yeah. The shower, again, is one of these like rain shower heads. And it's weird because it's like, it's in the room, you see? So the room is over here and this is just the shower area. There's Aveda stuff for the hotel, like shampoos and stuff. So that's so cool. I've been wanting to try out this shampoo. It's the Rosemary Mint Shampoo. I've heard that that's really good. And this is a body lotion by Aveda. That's the conditioner, the Rosemary Mint. And what is that? Energizing body cleanser. So I'm definitely going to be taking these home with me. Let's keep on going further. Um, TV and then... Um, kind of nice view well I mean nice old buildings around here then it goes back here and there is a full-length mirror hello and I already hung my coat up and then there's some extra blankets so the hotel is very different like it's set up quite different than other hotels I've been to so I have a letter <laughs> from Dita Von Tees. So that is cool. And it's just welcoming me to the hotel, welcoming me to Berlin. So that's awesome. And then there is this delicious box of macaron. But anyway, macaron from La Galerie Lafayette. So I can't wait to try those. And ooh, this is so pretty. This is, I don't know what this is. Ooh. This is the perfume, which is launching. So that is what the whole event is about. The Dida Von Tees perfume. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. So there is that. Oh my God, it just keeps going. There's more in here. A shower gel and a body lotion. I can't wait to try these out and see what these smell like. Really nice packaging. Um, first impressions are everything so definitely a lot of thought has gone into this and the perfume looks so sweet it has like a atomizer what's it called like just looks really neat okay so that's actually for the room tour and I have to start getting ready because I only have like about an hour now to get ready and I still have to do my hair I have to take off my makeup because I went to I did another thing this morning I was filming today in Zurich so this was from before so I have to get changed I have to redo my whole makeup I have to do my hair and everything and then I will show you like a quick outfit of the day before I leave for the event. Okay so I'm just gonna do a little quick outfit of the evening um, just before I head out. I'm like already running late. So this is the dress. I'm wearing this black dress and I bought this at New Yorker. So it is, you know, just goes, um, just, you know, above my knee a little bit and I'm wearing tights with it and then black shoes so all in black okay and there you can see my makeup um I just decided to go for smoky eyes and nude lips because we're gonna be eating dinner and I just don't want to have to touch up my lipstick the whole time and the other thing is that um there was like very little light when I was doing my makeup so I couldn't really do anything super fancy and then I have a little black clutch that I still need to get ready I also have this little shrug that I'm gonna put on because it is a little bit cold outside so that is gonna be my outfit so I really have to run now I'm already late <laughs> so I'll tell you later how the evening was <laughs> Hast du noch ein Handmikrofon für nachher? Das bringt nicht so was mitzunehmen, oder? Thank <laughs> you. 
So I am back from the event with Dita Montes and I am still in shock. Well, not in shock, but just totally thinking about the whole events of the night. And it was just an amazing experience. I never thought that when I started this whole YouTube thing, <laughs> that one day I would be sitting down to eat dinner with Dita Montes. And she's, she's a huge inspiration to me. I mean, I don't try to emulate her look. It's personally not my own style, but it's something that um, is definitely, you know, she's a very iconic person and just seeing her tonight was just surreal and it was definitely a dream come true. I was there with one other blogger and I don't know how many people there are, maybe like 50 or 60 other people of like the mainstream press so you know big fashion magazines here in um, Germany and just being able to be part of that as a blogger in this huge media event was such a reaffirmation of um, bloggers in general, like the amount of viewership that we have and, you know, that we're being taken seriously in events like this and it just means so much to me. What what I thought was really interesting is how Dita is, she's very petite. I didn't know that. I mean, I knew she was small, but she's very petite, like she's very small. She wears very high heels. I think she was wearing Christian Louboutins, so I think she wears very high heels and she's still like quite small and she's very like, you know, she's has a very small frame. What also really astonished me is the whole, um, you know, the whole media presence. I'd never experienced something like that. Like, you know, I'm a blogger or a vlogger here on YouTube and I have thousands, hundreds of thousands of people watching me, but the thing is that I do it from the comforts of my own home. So I never see all these people watching me. Um, so for me it was really crazy to experience, you know, going into this room and there's like tons of photographers like running to take pictures of Dita Von Tees and for me I felt like I was a spectator of that whole you know, media attention. And it was just very interesting for me to see the different side of marketing. So, you know, the way that Dita was posing for the camera and just all these things, um, it just was interesting to see a behind the scenes look of how these events happen and how um, celebrities market themselves. The dinner was really nice. It was in a very nice like upscale restaurant and we had a private room and you can only get admission by being part of the guest list. So we were on the guest list of course and I don't know how many people there were in total but it was just like this long table and I mean I can't believe I was sitting down to have dinner with Dita on teas. Like she's as I said, a huge inspiration to me, so um, it was just a very, very um, surreal evening, I guess, for me, and it was definitely one of the best experiences I've had through YouTube, and, you know, it just, it totally reaffirms what I'm doing here on YouTube. We're meeting tomorrow because tomorrow I have an interview with her for 20 minutes, so we're booked for 20 minutes. I have a private time with Dita, so hopefully I'll get to take a picture with her. I was talking to some of the, you know, the top people that are organizing this event and really tried to push that point home that I really would want to film because I just feel like I came all this way and I want to share that with you guys. This would be like a big step um, that, you know, it's... If, if I get this interview and I can film it for my YouTube channel, it, it definitely is a step, I think, in the right direction because there are thousands of you watching, just as, are there, just as there are thousands of people watching, you know, or reading magazines and stuff. There's thousands of you on YouTube watching this and I just, I just wish that these media people would take us seriously because, you know, we put in a lot of work and we have huge audiences, you know? I can't wait to meet Dita up close and personal. I mean, this is going to be a huge dream come true. So, yeah, that is it for tonight. And um, I'll let you know tomorrow what goes on. And I think it's now like 1.30 in the morning. I'm very tired. I slept like two hours last night. So I cannot wait to get into bed and like sleep and recuperate. <laughs> so I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow. Bye by paparazzi a few times where I was like, oh my god, okay. that's not my now. Career. Gonna <laughs> everyone's going to see these pictures and they're going to know oh, terrible. And then later I'm like,
oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> as long as you got sunglasses on, it's all good. 